Heavenly Father, God, today we come before you giving you thanks, Lord, for your goodness, your love, your grace, and your mercies. Truly, God, we can say that you have been good to us. And so, Father, Lord, at this time we lift the school before you in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, Lord, for the principal and the staff. We pray, O oh God, that you would continue to guide them and lead them, Father God, throughout this school year in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for the students, Lord, that you would continue to lead them, that you would continue to minister in their lives and in their hearts in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, God, at this time for the students, Lord, my classmates, Lord, who have already celebrated their 60th year, and those of us, God, who will be celebrating 60 years in the name of Jesus. We come before you, God, today and pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless us and strengthen us and continue, oh God, to minister in our lives, to minister in our hearts. And Father, help us at the end of the day to give you all the praise and all the glory for these years you've blessed us with. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. At this time, I'll call on Yvette Branch, who would come and give us the welcoming remarks. Good morning and greetings to all of you who are joining us today. Of course, we are doing this on the Egypt of the Grant Lee Adams Memorial School. So we extend a warm welcome to the principal, Major Andrew Skeep, the teachers, past and present students, friends, and particularly the class of 1978 and the class of 1979. We are indebted to those of you who made this all possible. Allow me first of all to take this opportunity to wish you and your respective families a healthy and rewarding 2021. Today is momentous for us for two reasons. Firstly, we made it through 2020, a year that will not be forgotten anytime soon by any of us. I think we can admit that the world has now been changed forever, but we're here. Secondly, this is the year where most of us will be celebrating 60 years of life. At school as frolicking teenagers, we would never have envisioned being 60 years old. That would have been very far-fetched. But we're here, thanks to our parents, our guardians, the teachers, and all who would have assisted in molding our lives during those formative years. This is exactly the reason why this service was conceptualized, to offer thanks to God. Hence the theme, celebrating with thanks. So a hearty welcome to all of you as together we join and celebrate with thanks in this virtual service. God bless you. Thank you very much, Yvette. And so at this time, we'll move right into a praise and worship. And we trust that as the songs are sung in your ears, that you will sit back, relax, and enjoy them. In Jesus' name, amen.
This time, uh, beloved brethren, we will have our first scripture reading, and that will be done for us by Paula Codrington, and she'll be reading Psalm 100, and immediately following her with the New Testament reading would be Patricia Paris, and she would be reading Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 46 through 50. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. God bless you. A reading from the Gospel of Luke chapter 1, beginning to read at the 46th verse. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from now all generations shall call me blessed. 
For he that is mighty has done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Here ends the reading. At this time, we'll call on Susan and her friend to lead us in a psalm.
read today, you know, we're hearing the first verse of Psalm 100, which was read earlier. And the verse basically says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. The theme of this service is, it's a celebration. And I want to address us on the subject, living with an attitude of gratitude. Living with an attitude of gratitude. And I would like for us to make a declaration this year, in 2021, in spite of the things that are happening this year, I would like for us to make this declaration. And you can probably say after me, the declaration is, this year, I will choose a great attitude. This year, I will choose a great attitude. A happy heart is good medicine. And a joyful mind causes healing. But a broken spirit, the Bible says, dries up the bones. And you may be surprised how much better your life would be if you could make a little adjustment to your attitude. We can use the word attitude to express what you think or perceive of someone. Uh, for example, my son has a great attitude towards music. The word attitude can be used to express the way someone behaves as a result of how they think or see themselves or see things. For example, I like Grantley Adam, Grantley Adams Memorial School. The principal and teachers are polite and have an optimistic attitude. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Attitude is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Optimism is a choice. Kindness is a choice. Giving is a choice. Respect is a choice. Whatever choice you make, makes you choose wisely. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Remember that thoughts are the foundations, foundation of my life. Emerson said, and I quote, a man is what he thinks about all day long. How could he possibly be anything else? The biggest and the only thing that you and I have to pay any attention to in our lives is choosing the right thoughts. If we do that, we will be headed toward solving all our problems. End of quote. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Yes, if we have happy thoughts, we will be satisfied. If we think of sad thoughts, we will be sorry. If we think of frightening thoughts, we will be afraid or we will be fearful. If we think of failure, we will undoubtedly fail. If we are depressed and agonizing in self-pity, everyone will want to shun us and avoid us. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. To see your God dreams and desires come to pass this year, you will need to learn how to live 
with an attitude of gratitude. It's your attitude more than your aptitude your, or skill or ability or talent that determines your altitude. Uh, this is your year to choose a great attitude about all that God wants to do in you, through you, and for you. Let, it, let us not be the same old, same old. Uh, let it not be the same old, same old. Raise your bar as a teacher. Raise your bar as a student. Uh, whoever you are, aim higher. Whatever level you are at right now, I want you to tell yourself that you are going to move to another level. Uh, another level of maturity. Improve teaching. Improve the study habits, improve grades, love, forgiveness, knowing Christ, and being like Christ. Forget what you have been through. Thank God for keeping you in it and bringing you through it uh, now. Now that you are out of it, don't live in it. It's done. It's over. Paul says... In Philippians chapter 3, verses 14, verses 13 through 14. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Paul. When telling or when talking about his occurrence in prison here, uh, when talking about his occurrence in prison said, but I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold, amen, to speak the word without fear. God has no shortage in heaven. There's no shortage of restoration for marriages, healing or healing for our bodies. I wish I had the time to testify here, but time does not permit. God has no shortage in heaven for your financial resources or unconditional love. What's our part to play in all God is doing and has done for us? Here is it. We are called to receive what he has given us and to respond to all the things that he has done for us with gratitude all the years that he has brought us through all he requires of us or would desire of us from us is to give him some thanks and praise the psalmist said make a joyful noise Mary said my soul doth magnify the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. In Luke's gospel, verse 17, we find a story where Jesus healed the ten lepers. Yet only one came back to thank him. The one who returned with gratitude was not only healed, uh, but saved as well. He was made truly whole. Oh, let's be the kind of people who always return to Jesus, uh, our Savior, giving him thanks. Uh, Sixty years, brothers and sisters, 60 years, uh, my friends, uh, aren't 15 years. And so class of 1979, uh, I'm so glad that we took this time to give God thanks uh, today uh, for the 60 year milestone. Uh, let us choose the right attitude with the 60 years uh, that God God has blessed us with. And I speak here both factually and prophetically uh, since some of us have made 60 and some of us have not yet made 60. Make a joyful noise. Let your soul magnify the Lord. Uh, when it's hard to start, praise God. When it's mundane in the middle, praise God. When it's miraculous on the mountain top, praise God. 
record. The first thing you want to take care of every day is to say to yourself, Lord, bless me. Why? So that you can be a blessing. Uh, you want to say, keep me, God, from the evil of the day. Every day you wake up, you don't know what evil has been designed to try to take you down and to try to trouble you or to try and get you in trouble. And so go ahead, uh, go ahead of it and say, Lord, keep me from the corruption of the day. Choose fellowship with God daily. Try to learn what pleases the Lord and have nothing to do with the things done in the darkness which are not worth anything. With Walk with him. Walk with him. Amen for life. Give God priority in your life. Let nothing come between you and your creator. Remember it is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. God says what's most important is that you be with me above everything else that you get to know me. It means that when I wake up in the morning, I need to say to God, no matter what happens today, I need to get to know you, God, a little bit more. COVID spike or curfew or not, this year, amen, is a year of celebration. As long as I have breath, I'll make a joyful noise and magnify the Lord like the psalmist. I'll enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I'll be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord. Amen. He is good and his mercies is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. It's a celebration. Thank you Lord for one more year. This is your year to cultivate a healthy atmosphere in your heart. Determined to be like the one leper who returned to give thanks to Jesus. Live your life with a grateful heart, giving back to God the thanks and the praise that he deserves. And so I invite you now to pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace that you've so generously poured into my life. Help me to have an attitude that honors you and teaches me to guard the atmosphere of my heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah.
At this time, we'll have acknowledgments and congratulations by Cheryl Marshall Morris. Good morning, everyone. It's a privilege and honor to say thank you. We give thanks to Almighty God for his grace and mercies and for birthing the idea of this activity. We're also thankful for God's guidance through the process and bringing this idea to reality. Special thanks to Chesterfield Haynes for his suggestion of a class reunion and from which this activity is the first to happen. So please stay tuned. Thanks to Arling St. Hill, also known as Shirley Hall, and Reverend Dr. Wayne Hoyt for conceptualizing the idea of this virtual service. Thanks also to Principal Major Andrew Skeet for his permission and blessings to use the school's song and logo. We thank the 60 plus anniversary committee, coordinator Arling St. Hill, members Wayne Hoyt, Chesterfield Haynes, Deborah Noel Moore, Grace Brooks Schoen, Pat Paris, Yvette Branch, Linda Paris, and Cheryl Marshall Morris. A special thanks to Arlene, who left no stone unturned in ensuring that this event became a reality. Thanks also to Wayne Hoyt for not only using his personal resources in hosting the event, but also coordinating presentation of the activities. We also thank him for the opening prayer, sermonette, and benediction. Thanks to Yvette Branch for the welcome, and Paula Codrington and Pat Paris for the scripture readings. We also thank Dr. Grace Schoen for the prayer of thanksgiving. Special thanks also to our special guests, Susan Grogan and Rochelle Powell for their beautiful rendition of Let Your Living Water Flow. We also want to say thanks to Everton Motley and Danielle Bishop. These are friends of Arlene St. Hill and they did the beautiful artwork which helped to promote the service and also the Keepsake program. Thanks again to Chesterfield Haynes for the presentation, which will be made at a later date to the school uh, for the laptops. We're also going to take, thank Deborah. We are also going to thank Deborah Moore in advance for a presentation she will make to centenarian Ethelene Louise Graham who is the mother of our outstanding art teacher, Miss June Graham, who's now retired. Thank you, thank you to all persons who made monetary contributions to the purchase of a laptop for the school. As I mentioned, a formal presentation will be made at a later date. The school's goal is to outfit the robotics lab with 20 computers. So contributions are still welcome. And I want to give a very, very special thank you to Algernon Yearwood for his assistance and follow through on our request of a donation from the City of Bridgetown Cooperative Credit Union Limited. The COB, which is the City of Bridgetown Cooperative Credit Union, has confirmed a donation of $3,000 for the purchase of two additional laptops. So we want to say thank you, thank you. So, in closing, I want to say a very big thank you to all persons present here today and for all of those who would have in some way contributed to making today's service a reality. We say thank you, God, and to God be the glory. We want to invite at this time the Reverend Dr. Grace Schoen, who will do a prayer of thanksgiving for us. It's a wonderful privilege to be greeting all my class members and happy celebration. We are 60 years old and counting. Well, I do say that, but I know that some of us are still awaiting that grand day. Uh, I just want to give a prayer of thanksgiving because God has been very good to us. So Heavenly Father, we give thee thanks. We adore your holy name. We thank you for 60 years in this life oh god we are so privileged today to celebrate with our friends with our brothers and sisters god and we thank you for the relationships that we have built over the years lord thank you for school and for all the precious memories of school 
God, we have been through so many things. We've had challenges, we've had sicknesses, we had sorrows, but we have such joy at the moment knowing that we have made it to this day. God, we want to thank you. And like the songwriter said, great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, I'm so glad your, your mercies are new every morning. Lord, we thank you today for the teachers and for those who have impressed our lives. Lord God and us, the students, we have kept together and we have built fantastic relationships all through the years. God, we thank you. Thank you that through the years we have been good to each other. We've been kind to each other. We've been there for each other. We were each other's backbone. Father, we thank you. And know today you are our regard. God, you will look after us. It is a prayer of my heart that you would continue to bless each and every one of us. Bless our families and some of us with children and grandchildren. Bless them all in the name of Jesus. And bless the teachers and bless that school in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you. And we love you. Amen and amen. Now we will have the closing hymn. And thank you, all of God. time we'll have the school song uh, rendered to you.
close our service today. We had a wonderful time. We close today with the benediction. Let's all join in and say it together. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful year.